Hello everybody, it's me again. Uh, today we're going to uh, take a look at the Jetson Xavier NX development kit. Um, I'm going to kind of go over the highlights of it and then we'll probably take it around the block to see what it'll do. I'm not going to go really in depth into the specs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put links in there to that so you guys can look at that on your own. And there's a lot of other videos out there that really uh, really get down into the depth of like you know everything that the board offers. But uh, so let's go ahead and get going. As you can see, I got one up here on the left, and uh, down here uh, I'm going to run this later. This is the setup we're going to use uh, when we run it, uh, when I actually run it, and then we'll go through that also. So as you can see here. Um, there's the setup right there. Um, there's a fan. That's a nice looking fan there. It's not like the, the Nano. We had to supply your own fan. And we're going to bring the Nano in to give a little compare here. As you can see, they're very similar to each other. The boards are almost like identical. So if you're familiar with the Nano, this is, this is going to be a piece of cake. Um, let's see. Uh, like I say, this one comes with a little fan. The nano you had to add the own fan. The the these uh, carrier board the these the modules they pop right out. So uh, uh, just like and you know they got the two pins here, pop those and it comes right out. Um, like I say, there's the fan. Um, there's the pins right there, just like the nano. Um, over here you have two CSI cameras, you know, just just like the nano does. And so uh, then you have the that's where the power comes in. It runs 19 volts here instead of 5. And then you also have the four USB 3 ports. And then you have the Ethernet port right there. And the HDMI and Display Port on the left there. Um, let's see. Uh, this will flip it up here. So there's the bottom. Um, what's nice, there's two uh, M, M2 key E ports, one there and one there. And NVIDIA was nice enough to put uh, the Wi-Fi card in there. And your Wi-Fi antennas, that's nice. So you don't have to uh, buy that. Um, like I say, they're really easy to access. Like on the Nano, you had to pop the, the, the card out of it to access it. So this is nice. It's at the bottom. And like I say, they got your Wi-Fi already ready to go. And then we also have the micro SD port right there. So that's just nice. And then over here we have, like I said, we have the the, the power comes in there. It's 19 volts, uh, HDMI, a display port, four USB 3, uh, Ethernet, and a micro USB right there. And then uh, with the developer kit, developer kit comes with the power supply. And uh, there it is right there. Uh, like I say, it's 19 volts. So, you know, that's pretty good. That's, you know, I like to run on my, my portable rigs and the, the batteries for a lot of the, uh, the the drills that I cut up to do their 19 volts. So this is going to work perfectly. So we'll stop this. And down here, this is the rig we're going to use. This is the setup we're going to use when we run it. So as you see, we got the Nano, uh, excuse me, uh, the uh, Jetson Xavier NX all set up. Um, it's got, uh, it's going to run uh, uh, four RTSP IP cameras. Um, and then uh, also showing, this is the, all my little uh, collection of NVIDIA stuff. So this is one of my setups right here. And then we also have, uh, we're going to run, we're going to run the Azure, uh, Connect for Azure. That's going to be one of our uh, sources. This is my portable rig. There's my monitor and my, the, the Jetson Nano. And then we're going to run uh, uh, four IP cameras. And then we're also going to run two USB cameras. And then there's just another another one that I have. 
You know, I forgot to show this right here. This is a CSI camera, so we're going to run one of those also. So we're going to run a CSI camera, the Connect for Azure, four RTSP IP cameras, and two webcams. So that's, that's what we're going to do. As you see, like we got going here, I'm going to pause it for a second. Now, the, the, the recording is kind of choppy, but uh, I think that, that's my recording software. I use a, a simple recorder on the Nano, and it, it doesn't do the best job. So what we have is we have one, two, three, four RTSP IP cameras up here. <clears throat> this is the Connect for Azure right here. Um, these are two USB cameras, one there and one there. And then this is the uh, CSI camera. As you can see, you know they're they're all really close in, in uh, how they uh, the the lag. I know it looks choppy, but in real life it's not. And there's my my dog. And there's me. And uh, you see what I was trying to do is I was trying to see show the cameras and how the, how fast they all react. And then what it is is uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the the mo power monitor. I mean the monitor and the uh, uh, the terminal, and we'll, it'll show you just how fast they're running. You can see we got uh, one, two, three, four RTS IP RTSP IP cameras connect for Azure, two USB, and the CSI camera. Okay, so we got this going on here. Let's just stop this for a second. <clears throat> As you can see, where we're running 24, 25, you know, 26 frames per second on all of them. I know this one says 15, but I don't know why it always does that. But it's running as fast as the other ones. And then, uh, as you can see over here, I only got two of the CPUs running. We're we're hardly taxing this this thing at all the memory and uh, I was going to show uh, as we go this right here this is the setup I'm using source 8 1080p DEC infra resonant tracker tile display FP16 text 1 dot text and I set it up to run the four IP cameras the two USB cameras no three uh, three webcams and then, because one of them is the uh, Connect for Azure, and then the CSI camera. And another thing uh, about this is, uh, I'm running the primary the primary detector. I'll show that to you. I'm not running the primary detector Nano, so it's it's actually doing pretty good. It's 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 running really well with the primary detector. I'm running a live stream. A live the live stream is is set at one. My batch sizes are set at eight. Uh, let's see what we got here. As you can see, we're you know with just two CPUs, we're kind of taxing them a little bit. Hardly using any memory. Like I say, well, uh, live source one. That's the only kind of change I made. Batch size of eight. This one was set at thirty, but I set it to eight. Uh, let's see. right here as you can see I'm running the primary detector I'm not running the primary detector nano so this is running the you know uh, the the more more the more memory taxing one so then I down here I've set the batch size to eight so overall I mean it's just, I have no problem running it um, the this the Jetson Xavier NX developer kit it's like they're going for like three ninety nine and I'd say it's probably ten times more powerful than the Nano and the Nano is a hundred dollars so you know you really get what you pay for on this one um it's what's nice about it is like it's it's compact if you have uh, things that are already set up for the Nano this will go right in its place uh, when it comes to form factor. 
um, but you're gonna get like I've I was able to run the uh, uh, the one sample that runs 30 uh, 30 30 uh, the one of those RS R, URI files and it ran it like no problem so I mean uh, there's there's a lot of potential with this uh, Jetson Xavier NX developer kit and it was uh, you know and, and the price is just like a right on target for the power you're getting so uh, you know I, I think I'm gonna start moving to this because you know, this allows me to do much much more heavy lifting when it comes to uh, uh, video uh, intelligent video uh, and uh, uh, AI processing so well good luck with that I hope uh, everybody can get one for Christmas or something like that so alright thank you Thank <laughs> you.